two thirds minus two fourths. Common denominator is what, Nadia? Uh, twelve. Twelve. So our common denominator equals twelve. This is helpful. Yeah. This is helpful. So if I have two thirds and two fourths, pay attention to my sign of subtraction. I need to put this over 12. I can come back over here. What did I multiply by three to get 12? Four. four. If I multiply my denominator by four, I must also multiply my numerator by four. And 2 times 4 is? 8. eight. eight. Three, 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 three. What did I multiply by 4 to get 12? 3. three. 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 If three. I multiply my denominator by 3, I must also <laughs> multiply my numerator by 3. And 2 times 3 is? 6. six. Oh, 8 twelfths oh, minus 6 twelfths is? 2. 2 over? 12. 12. Twelve. Can that be simplified? Yes. 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 To what? No? Oh, sorry. If I divide both of these by 2, I'm going to get 1 sixth. I'm going to get 1 sixth. I'm just saying. 